Welcome to Math with Mrs. Cox. We are on page 345 in Chapter 5, Lesson 7, Addition Properties. Let's begin. We are going to be continuing to talk about the associative property and the cumulative property and the identity property. They want us to add up these numbers and label each of the steps. So make sure you write neatly and try to write a little on the small side so you have room for all of it. Let's begin. Number one, show the properties of addition to find each sum mentally. Show your steps and identify the properties that are used. Okay, so we have, right to begin with, we need to write the number 9 plus 6 plus 31. Now do your equal sign, and then we're going to rearrange it a little bit. Maybe put it from least to greatest, 6 plus 9 plus 31. Now, this is like your parents driving to work. The commute is the same there and the same back, even though it might be in a different order. It's still going to add up to the same. So we're going to call that the commutative, commutative property. Okay. Okay, draw your little equation sign again. Now we're going to associate a couple of these numbers together that are a little bit easier to add mentally than the others. So look at that really careful. What's going to be easier to add? Yep. We're going to associate those two numbers together. So it's easier in our head. And 31 plus 9 is going to be a beautiful number of 40. I'm going to add that 6 to it. And I know that 6 plus 40 is a beautiful number of 46. So I'm going to put 46 up here. And there is all of the labeling for your number 1. Number 2. We're going to write this out again. We're going to have 12.5 plus 0 plus 1 plus 43.5. Now, we can rearrange this. So maybe it's in order from least to greatest. So let's look. Well, 0 is pretty, I don't know, let's do, we can do 0 is the least, and then 1 is the next littlest number, right? Then we have 12.5. And then our last one is 43.5. Okay, make sure you use all your numbers up. Yep. So when we order them, change the order, but it still has the same numbers, we're going to call it the commutative. Very good. Now we're going to associate some of the numbers that are easier to add together than the others. So you're going to have to write all these numbers again. This is where it pays to write neatly. Okay, what looks like we'll add easy together? Let's get rid of the decimals first, shall we? So when we add those decimals together, we're going to get... Five plus five is 10. Bring down the decimal, dot, 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 splat. 3, 4, 5, 6. 4 plus 1 is 5. So we're going to get the beautiful number of 56. And I'm not going to bring over the decimal and the placeholder 0. Because I just don't really need to. So then I have 0 plus 1 plus 56. What property is that? Well, that's just when I add together. So I'm just going to write add. Then what do we have? We need to do 1 plus 56 is 57 plus 0. And what property is that where it doesn't lose its identity? Yep, you're right. So then our number is just a beautiful 57. I know that was a really long way, but this chapter wants you to label each step. Don't worry, it gets easier. Number three, Sasha spent a dollar and five cents on soda, five dollars twenty-five on a sandwich, seventy-five cents on a piece of fruit, 
and four dollars and ninety cents excuse me four dollars and ninety five cents on a magazine use mental math to find the total amount that she spent so let's think of what's going to be easy to add together personally i think the two easiest ones to add together in my head are going to be these ones right here so i'm going to come over here and do some work i know it said mental math and if you can do it in your head go for it but i don't want my i don't want to miss any numbers Five plus five is 10, carry the one, drop the zero. Nine plus one is 10, drop the zero, carry the one. Oh, there's a decimal, dot, 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 splat. Four, five, six, so six dollars plus these last two numbers right here. We need to make sure we add those ones together now. So I'm going to do dot 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 splat so six dollars plus six dollars equals a total of twelve dollars that she spent number four jesse went to the mall and bought a cd for this much money and a skirt for this much and a t-shirt for this much and a bottle of water for that much using mental math find the total amount she spent Okay, look at those numbers. I can see that maybe these ones are going to work well together because that two is going to be able to bump it up to another dollar mark. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to add 12.98 over here. Now you could probably do this in your head and that's okay if you do. 8, 9, 10, 9, 10, dot, 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 splat. So that's going to be $14 for those ones. So I'm going to put 14 right here. And then these last two numbers can go together. Dot, 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 splat. So 26 plus 14, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Carry the 1. It's about how much money she spent. That's not bad. There we go. A little bit neater. Brain builder, you ready? Gary played soccer for one hour. Volleyball for three and a half. Tennis for two. Tanya, okay, those were all Gary's. Tanya played soccer for three and a half hours. Volleyball for two and tennis for one. Who played sports longer? Explain. All right, so let's kind of write them down. I'm just going to put a G over here for Gary. I'm going to write down that he did one hour plus 3.5 plus 2. And then Tanya, she did it for 3.5 plus 2 hours plus 1 hour. Well, if I'm looking at this, I can see there's both have a 1. They both have the 3.5 and they both have a 2. So who played for longer? I'm going to say they played the same amount of time. And it was the commutative property. was used because that's in the order that does not change all right number six without calculating would 0.4 plus 2 plus 0.6 be greater well excuse me be less than greater than or equal to three looking at it 
I can roughly add these two together, and I know that that will equal 1, and 1 plus 2 would equal 3, right? So I would say equal, and then explain, well, they want me to explain, okay. This is where you can use the commutative and the associative properties of addition to allow you to add these together to equal the 1 and then add the 2. Number 7. Paula was reading a novel. She read 13 pages on Sunday, 12 on Tuesday, 17 on Friday, 8 on Saturday. Use mental math to find the total number of pages she read. So I'm going to look at this and say it's going to be easy for my head to add these two numbers together. And I know that 12 plus 8 is going to be 20. Then I can add easily maybe this number and this number together because that's going to be about 30. And then those together are going to add up to 50. And that helps me do that. So the associative and the commutative property help me associate and add those together well. All right, go ahead and tear that out and turn that in, folks. Thank you for your time.